Hey, hang on, I gotta wash my hands. Okay, what's up? How are we doing today? I hope we're having a great summer June day because it's finally June and you know what that means? That it's not supposed to be raining and it's supposed to be sunny, but guess what it's doing right now? It's raining and it's not sunny, so that's kind of rude and disrespectful. Today, I thought it would be fun to celebrate summer, even though I've kind of been on summer for like a week now, but you know, it's June now, so that feels like the appropriate time to celebrate summer. So how am I gonna celebrate summer, you might be asking. No one's asking this, but I'm gonna answer it anyway. To celebrate summer, I thought I would do some cooking. Not just any cooking, no, I'm not gonna make some like peppermint cookies or some like pumpkin spice bread. Not happening. We're making summer lemon brownies. I thought these would be perfect for summer. I thought we could talk about some summer things. Normally when I cook things, I like cooking things just from a cake box, but that's not happening today. We're making lemon brownies from scratch, so let's get started. These have 4.53 stars from 19 votes. You know, that's a pretty good ratio, I think. You know what you can do right now? You can make these with me. I'll link the recipe down below. Do I actually want to like explain how to make these or do I just want to make them and you kind of watch? I think you can kind of watch. But I do have all my ingredients prepared, so, you know, we're ahead of the times. It calls for an 8x8 thing and this looks like it's 8x8, so good enough. Okay, beet butter, sugar, and lemon zest until light and fluffy, okay. It's kind of honestly hard to come up with content to talk about during the videos, but you know, I'm just gonna start talking and you're just gonna start listening. Or maybe you're gonna be like multitasking and doing your homework at the same time, even though it's summer. But let's talk about what I did today. I got my blood drawn at the doctor's office on my finger. Um. um, nobody cares. But other than that, not really that much. Beet butter, sugar, sugar. How much sugar do these people want from me? Three and a fourth cup. Oh look, I already set three and a fourth cup out. Lemon zest. Hoo hoo, I do not know how to zest the lemon. Honestly, I probably should have asked my mom how to do this before I left, but like... So you know, we're just gonna cut it in half and see what happens. I'm just gonna start juicing it because I'm gonna have to do that at some point. Ooh, it's working. I'm kind of doing it. Okay, but anyway, let's talk about what happened yesterday in spin class because, I don't know, I do a lot of awkward things, but another awkward thing happened yesterday. So, in spin class, the instructor at the end is always like, High five your neighbor and tell him you did a great job, you know, for like, friendliness. So, you know, there's no one sitting to my right, but then I turn to the guy on my left. Anyways, I go over, I put my hand out like this to high five him, and he does this. And it took me a second to realize what he was doing. So I was like this, and he was just like this. I go in like this, I'm like, wait, and then I fist bumped at the last minute. That was still really awkward, because it took me like five seconds to realize that he was fist bumping. But then it also could have been more awkward, because I could have high-fived him while he was fist bumping, like this. So you know, it was awkward, but it could have been more awkward. So I really need to hurry up. I have to leave in an hour. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I know there's a better way to do this, but like... Okay, you know what? Good enough. What's the next step? I have to beat everything together. Okay, so let's see. I like how it said it would take 10 minutes for me to do this, and it's already been like 20, so... It's a little bit inaccurate. Time to mix it all together, cause you know what? It's the best of those worlds. Add eggs and lemon. You're supposed to add the eggs one at a time, but you know, once again, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, comment on these, they smell really good, so like... 
Honestly, we don't taste for taste, we only taste for smell. Okay, you know what? There we go, I'm done. Can't even tell if you can see what's happening. If you can't, well then I'll narrate the whole thing. I'm putting the stuff into the other stuff. Did you guys ever watch Cupcake Wars? Like, that's all I watched. That's definitely not all I watched. I watched a lot of other things besides that, but definitely did watch Cupcake Wars a lot. Guess what? It's oven time. Let's go put it in there. <laughs> I just spent like 10 minutes cleaning up the kitchen so it looks better now, but you wouldn't have known unless I tell you. Maybe you would have thought some magical elf fairy cleaned it up for me. That... Unfortunately did not. But now I have to make the glaze or whatever it's called, like the stuff you put on top of it while the brownies are cooking. But let's talk about more things that I've done that are just weird. I don't even know what this video is. It's just me cooking while talking about my life. Which is not interesting. Basically, a couple of days ago, I was just, I woke up so early. I woke up at like 5.15. I don't know why. But I didn't want to get up at 5.15 because most people do not want to do that. So I wake up at 5.15, right? And I pull out my iPad because, you know, I wanted to watch some YouTube before I actually got up. You know, as a way to wake up in the morning, as a way to get a fun little... Laugh. So, you know, I was doing that, right? Yeah, well, my iPad, like, the iPad clicks into the keyboard, and guess what happened? It didn't click into the keyboard. I was holding the iPad above my face, and it falls, and it lands right on the bridge of my nose, or whatever this is called, and then my nose started bleeding. And then I gave myself a nosebleed. So, like... That was not very smart. But whatever, it's fine. Gotta zest the lemon again. This thing was like it takes 30 minutes to make completely and then it's been like an hour and guess what I'm still doing making it Let's talk about some other things while I whisk because this I can actually multitask kind of and talk at the same time What did I just do I think I broke the whisk Sorry. Okay, I think the glaze stirring is done. We'll be done with that. Now just time to wait on the brownies, so. just burned my lip that would have been so bad you know they actually look good like I thought that was gonna turn out kind of disastrous because normally when I'm baking something I ask my mom to tell me when they're done because I don't know things but you know they actually look good so time to let them cool oh my gosh my half birthday is tomorrow 17 and a half, what a big deal. Six more months of being a kid, that means six more months until I can buy a lottery ticket and six more months until I can um. be tried as an adult. Six more months until I can drive past midnight, even though I probably won't be doing that, but. Okay, you know what, they've cooled for long enough and yes, I did change my clothes because I, once again, have a spin glass. And I'm running out of time before I have to get there because I thought these weren't going to take this long to make. And I think that's probably just because I was talking a lot. But you know, if I weren't talking, then this video would be a lot kind of boring. I mean, it might already be, but it would be a lot more boring if I weren't talking. Boom, all glazed and all done. Let's take a thumbnail. Now I'm gonna slice it and do a taste test. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I took the teeniest, tiniest little slice of brownie out because I felt like it. Let's do a little review based on everything. Um, it feels like cake. It looks like cake. You know, I'll give it like a four out of 10 on looking like a brownie and a 10 out of 10 on the smell and. That's pretty good, I like that. The taste is good. 
Yeah, okay, not gonna lie, that was really good. Solid, like, nine and a half out of ten. Would recommend making this for summer. Like the recipe said, they are. Super soft and moist bars topped with the most delicious lemon glaze. The perfect summer dessert. I agree. So go make these. Anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching this entire thing. Thank you for celebrating summer with me, even though I don't even know if that's what we did. I wish... There was technology so I could share it with you so you could eat the brownies through the camera. Anyway, thank you. And please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you somewhat liked it. If you thought this video was mediocre. And also go follow me on the stuff down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.